Hi, this is Mahesh Ravi and in this video we're going to take a look at something really interesting. You might have already heard about Kriya AI. So um, what we are going to do here is to combine Kriya with um, a real 3D application like Cinema 4D. We're going to take that data um, from a live stream into Kriya and use it as a trigger to uh, generate AI uh, renders. It might actually sound a little complex, but it's pretty easy. Um, to do this, the first thing that you might actually require to make your work really easy is to have a two monitor setup, a dual monitor setup like this. Uh, so I'm actually running Cinema 4D. I've just taken my Cinema 4D window to one the monitor and I'm running Kriya on the other monitor. You will understand why this is essential in a couple of minutes. So we are in Kriya AI um, home right now. And we are going to do a real time generation. If you take any other, you know, image generation AI tools, uh, they are not real time. You are actually giving them text prompts or image prompts and it is taking its time to process and it's giving you an output. You will not be able to control the output in real time. But Kriya actually lets you do that. And let's take a look at how it works. And uh, we are in Kriya's interface. So you can see there is there are a couple of tools um, in here. There is an image input. <clears throat> You can add an image as an input. You can use your screen as an input. You can use your camera, your laptop's camera as an input. There are uh, the, the selection tools, move tools, shape tools. There is a generate image tool. There is an upload image tool. There is a paintbrush. There is an eraser. And you can actually use a canvas background here. Undo buttons, redo buttons, and there is a clear canvas button here. So here on the left side, what you see is source window and on the right side is the output that it's getting generated you can see the ai strength here based on our inputs um, the power of ai you can adjust it here so if the ai strength is really low it will be much closer to our input and if the ai strength is really high it will be very different from the inputs that we are giving them there are certain styles that you can choose from here and options to download as well so let's get started. What we are trying to build is a, um, so we, we have a text prompter here as well. Um, a retro futuristic um, camera is what I'm trying to build. So I have my text prompt right here and I don't have any um, source material added to it. So what I'm gonna do is I want to take my Cinema 4D window as my source. So I'm gonna go to um, screen to image right here it's going to ask me what screen that I want to share. So I want to share um, the entire screen right here, which is my screen two. So you can see screen one, I have clear and on my display two or screen two, I have cinema 4D. So I want the cinema 4D screen to be shared here. So click OK. You can see uh, the cinema 4D window is available here. Now the problem uh, if you are, don't have a dual monitor is that you will not be able to work on Cinema 4D in this window. It is just a preview, it's just a screen share, right? So if you are using a single monitor and if you are sharing the screen, you will not be able to work on it and generate the um, real-time output together. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move and scale this window up so that um, the Kriya just sees only my workspace. I don't want any of the tool uh, bar display to uh, influence my design. So I'm just going to scale it up. And now you can see that the AS times is pretty low in here. And you can see that whatever the Cinema 4D screen sees, that is what uh, Kriya is generating because the AI strength is set to minimum. But what if we actually raise this, right? So we are going to increase the AI strength a little bit. From that basic block that we made in AI, you can see that the AI starts interpreting more things into it. So we just have a basic block in here, but the AI strength is sort of creating some more interesting stuff. Now the grids in the Cinema 4D actually became tiles in here, right? So it's amazing what it can actually do. Now let's head back to our Cinema 4D window and let's add some details in here. So I added one cube. I'm just gonna, so you can see that immediately it tried to make sense of the cube. Why did we place that cube there? So I'm just going to take it 
away from there to zoom it out. So it is still sticking to making a camera because we already said that it's a retro futuristic camera. So based on the positions that we are actually, uh, you know, putting those things there, I want to make it look like some sort of modular lens system. So as I'm moving it, it actually works that into the design. Now I will try and do something else here. I'm going to go to create and I'm going to click on materials and I'll create a very normal uh, default material here. Let's add a little bit of red into the mixture. So I'll just take that red and put it into the new box that I've added. So now it's seeing the red as well and it's trying to make sense of that. So once again, if you reduce the AI strength in here, it goes back to what we are saying. It becomes much closer to what uh, we have built in Cinema 4D, just blocks. But if you increase the AI strength, you can see that it is, it's creating much more powerful variations of what we are trying to build. So it already came up with a logo and things like that. So we'll make it look a little like a camera. And this is very, very basic uh, stuff that we are doing in Cinema 4D. That's the beauty of the whole thing. So I'm adding one more box and I'll create some sort of a trigger button with that. Just move it up. Scale it down. So we have something cool like that there. And I can also play with the angle here. So if I just rotate my camera, you can see that the angle is changing there in clear. Okay. So that seems like a pretty cool retro futuristic camera. And all we have done is to create a couple of cubes and then it was able to render something really powerful. So once we have done that, uh, what you can do is you can go here and click on the enhance button. So it will uh, take this design that we have and it will do a quick enhancement of it. It will make it um, a high resolution, uh, more perfect image. And once the quick enhance is done, you can download the image. So this is how you can use uh, Cinema 4D to uh, create real time, really interesting product designs, or it can be anything. It can be characters, whatever you want to do. Take a basic model and then enhance it with a Kriya. So I hope this is helpful and it opens up new playgrounds for you to explore. And I'll see you with another video soon. Till then.